Jim Grabowski is inducted for a professional football. He played football for Taft High School in Chicago, the University of Illinois, the Green Bay Packers, <laughs> and the Chicago Bears. Jim was an All-American, an academic All-American, a Rose Bowl Most Valuable Player, and a Big Ten Most Valuable Player. He was a first round draft choice of the Packers. He played on two Packer NFL championship teams. The Packers are doing very well for an expansion team. <laughs> Jim is in the Academic American Hall of Fame, the Polish American Sports Hall of Fame, the Chicago Sports Hall of Fame, and the National Football Foundation College Hall of Fame. Now he is a Sports Fame Hall of Famer. Jim provided color commentary for the University of Illinois football teams from 1974 through 2006. He has been married for 54 years to his high school sweetheart. They had a very nice time at their prom. <laughs> they have two daughters and four grandchildren. Jim? Thank you, Patrick. Uh, you know, I noticed uh, every speaker before me uh, was off the cuff. They got out of here and just spoke. I'm nearing 77, so Red Grange's number, by the way. <laughs> uh, so I have to take some notes now. You know? <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. Uh, I'm so honored. Thank you, Angela. I I'm and thank you, Mrs. McCaskey. Mrs. McCaskey, you were my second favorite grandmother in the world. <laughs> that lady there is my number one favorite grandmother in the world, but you're my very favorite great-great-grandmother. Okay. What a lady she is. I've, we've got to know them over the years, and just fantastic. When Pat uh, McCaskey called me and told me about this, I, I was shocked. I, I, I really was. Uh, I hope I didn't give you that impression, but I got off the phone saying, did he call the right number? <laughs> uh, really, I've been very active in a lot of charities over the years, but the last several years, I've been a pretty quiet guy. You know, we've uh, had a wonderful life, and we're, you know, we don't get out like we used to. So uh, when I look at this, I said, you know, I, this is unbelievable. And then when I look at the honor roll here of the players like Rich and Bill and everybody here, I, mean, I said, you know what, I'm, it's pretty humbling. I look at their careers and what they've done and I go, geez, I mean, you think of Rich, he's 18 years in the NFL, MVP, Pro Bowls, you know, and then just making it five years in the NFL is pretty impressive. So, and then the, the most impressive was I look at Bishop Paprocki, I said, holy smokes, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's got more degrees than I got fingers. <laughs> you know, he runs marathons, 24 marathons. Unbelievable. I'm just, you know, I run a, I walk about a marathon a week. Does that kind of put you in the same category? That's really something. He, he understands four languages. He speaks four languages. He understands Latin. I understand a lot of Latin myself. Vini, vidi, vici. <laughs> Goli est omni divisa in partes tres. Very good. Very good. That was from Mr. Blaharsky in high school and we read the Gallic Wars, you know. That's a little, the first couple sentences of the Gallic Wars for all you Latin students there, you know. Uh, so anyway, this is very humbling for me to be up here. It really is, you know. And I'm in the fourth quarter now of my life, and it's, I think it's kind of natural to reflect back of where this all started, how did I get to where I was, you know. It, it, it's, hard, it's hard to know that you're in the fourth quarter, isn't it? You know? well, I don't know, Pat, you're probably not, you know. But, <laughs> but as I look back, I know that I have been surrounded by people of faith my whole life. My mother, went to Mass every day. 
member of the Holy Names, uh, the Altar and Rosary Society. My dad, till the day he died, was a member of the Holy Names Society. My brother's a deacon. So all my life I've been associated in around with these people who have been so instrumental in my life. But I wish my mom and dad could see me here now. God, they'd be so proud. So, so proud. I had a coach who went to Mass every day. Vince Lombardi went to Mass every day. And he insisted that we all lead pretty good lives, except for Paul Horning. <laughs> <laughs> so God has really blessed me throughout my career, the things I've done. He has been right over my shoulder. But probably the greatest blessing I have, have had is when I left St. Patrick's. Now, it sounds strange, doesn't it? I went to St. Tarsus's, had the BBM nuns for from kindergarten to eighth grade, went to St. Patrick's, had the Christian brothers. But I left St. Patrick's and I was really blessed after that. Because <laughs> that's the day that I met <laughs> this young lady, this beautiful cheerleader. <laughs> and she actually went out with me. And 60 years later, Two beautiful daughters, four great grandkids, she still tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> and we're hanging out and have some fun, even after 60 years. It shows you having faith in each other, faith in God. I've been a lucky, lucky man. But I knew one thing, back in grammar school, it's hard for you to believe. Those of you who went to Catholic grammar schools back in anywhere near my era, I hope you had the same kind of report cards. On one side, you had your academic grades. On the other side, you had, we'll call it comportment grades, right? I, uh, on, on the left side were the academic grades, they were okay. On the right side, I was full of check marks. And the one I had the most in was self-control. You remember that? <laughs> Self-control, yeah, which meant you were a little too active in your class, you know. Maybe you talked a little too much. And that was my problem. The, the nun was up there on the chalkboard, and she'd hear this talking, talking to my buddy over here, my buddy over here. And I also had a little girlfriend back in fourth grade, too. And they'd turn around and, you know, they'd point out at me. I actually at least four times in my grammar school career, the nuns taped my mouth shut. <laughs> and that is not a lie, that is absolutely true. So one of the things they did teach me, the thing that and still stands out to this day is know when you should shut up. <laughs> so all I wanna say is thank you. This, I, I'm, I'm so touched by this. Uh, as I said, God has blessed me in so many ways with a beautiful wife, beautiful children, and a pretty darn good life. And so thank you, thank you, Pat, thank you, Ms. McCaskey, thank you, Angela. I am just thrilled to be here, and I will always be thinking of you guys. Thank you.